Right. So here we have Elastic Search for, for Ghana UAT. So, so now we're going to create an index life policy. So what we do to do that, we go here, go to the bottom. And for a start, let's just go to our dev tools. So in the dev tools, we have this API call. And that gives us all the index, indices that are, are in this database. And this is our present policy that we've got. So it tells us here that it's a setup for 60 days. And these are the indices that are against this policy. Um, and this is just to tell us the health of our nodes. So we can see we've got three nodes, 116 primary shards, and 232 shards altogether. And here are some stats. So this is the indice that was taken yesterday. So if we look at that, it tells us all sorts of stats about that. It is two successful shards. So the index is saved in two different places, and that's the count for it. And here is the one for today. And we, we can see the same sort of stats that we've got here. And here we can see that we haven't got any dangling processes. And here we can look at all the index life management. We're going to explain it. So on this particular index on the 19, let's explain this one. So that's what we have. So here's the index. The policy is log stash. And this is uh, what what we what we know about it in terms of this. So now if we go to this one and we look at it, um, it says that there's a policy. That's the policy, but there's an illegal argument exemption. So there's something wrong with this index in here, which I want to fix here. So if we look at this one here of the twelfth, <clears throat> this one is also. This one doesn't have a, a, a policy on it at all. So we're going to have to add the policy to this one so that uh, Elasticsearch knows when it, how long this um, in the index can stay in the system. So if there's no policy against it, then we're not going to have it. It's not going to be deleted. So now we go to <clears throat> stack management. The first thing we have to do is we have to do an index life policy. So you can see there's already some that are pre that already been allocated. <clears throat> and you can see over here that against this log stash one, there's 53. So some of them are allocated this and some of them are deleted. So let's just see what they are. So these are the indices um, that have the policy against them. So, but as you saw previously, there's some there's something wrong with it. So we need to fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new policy. And if I have a look at this system over here, which is Benin, um, and we look at the policy that we've got over there, the name that we called it so that we are consistent. So log stash index policy. So let's just copy that name. And we go over here, and then we'll create the policy. We give it the same name, log, log stash index policy. So when you do an index policy, <clears throat> it's about how long you keep the various indices or the shards into different phases. So at the moment, they're all in the hot phase, but you can have a hot phase, a warm phase, and a cold phase. So if we go to the advanced setting, so what we actually want to do is we want to go to a phase where they're actually deleted after a certain length of time. So if we go to the advanced setting, it says that the moment it's set, it's set to 30 days or when the shard reads 50 gigabytes. So <clears throat> I want to change that. So if I take this off here, it says, right, you can change that or you can change the age. But we don't want to... So, so this says that after 30 days, we would have a rollover. And the rollover from hot to the warm phase. But we don't have a warm phase set up. We'd have to set up a completely different cluster to cater for that. So we're just going to disable that. 
But now that doesn't help anything. Now we haven't got any, you know, the, the system doesn't know what to do with this policy. So, so if we click on delete over here, then all of a sudden it says, ah, now we get to the delete phase and it says, okay, we can keep it for a year. Now we know that we haven't got enough space to keep all the indices for 365 days. <clears throat> so in this system here, yeah, I'm just gonna keep them for 60 days. And that's it. Now, there's also a discussion here around about creating a, a snapshot. It also makes logical sense that when you delete them, you should make a, a snapshot. But in order for us to make a, a snapshot, we'd have to change the way that our cluster is set up because we need a we need to set up the directory where the snapshot would be held, which we haven't got set up at the moment. Okay, so we save that policy. And you can see it's been created. So that's our policy over here. And you can see at the moment there's no shards against it. So now we so now we have to change that. So now we go to index management. And we in order to use that policy, we have to have an index template. So now you can see there's already this index template that has already been set up. So now if we go in here, and we can see that that is what has been set up. And you can see there was a problem with this template from that error that we've got. So let's have a look and see if we can fix that error. So here's the first thing. Okay, so that is the name of the this template, log stash index template. And that's the index pattern that we're going to move things around with. And then we go to next. And this is a component template. Now we can move, if you look at some of the other templates that have been created, we can put some of these into here, but we're not going to do that. Okay, now for us, this is where there seems to be a problem here. So this hasn't been set up correctly. So in order to fix that, let's just have a look at this one here is working. So if we go to here and we go to indexes, and we look at this index template, and we're also going to edit this one. And that's what we got there, and that's what we got there. But now you can see for this index setting that this is what we need to put in there. So that is a policy that we just created. So we go back here. And so we don't want the index template, we want to log that stash index policy in here. I got too many. Okay, so that's what we're going to change. And then here, um, here we have mappings. We don't want to do mappings. Mappings is a completely different Oh, I'm sorry, I just want to go back again. Ah, oh, yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> Mappings, so I'm not going to change anything there. <clears throat> With aliases, I don't know what to do here, so we won't change anything there. <clears throat> now we can see that we have, now we can review it. So we can have a preview of it, of the sample. So that's what this is going to say. So I'm going to take this. Uh, I'm going to take this over here. Copy it and save it against this over here. I don't know if you see the screen. And then that is the request. So when a new template, when a new um, you know, template has to be created for a new index, then it's going to pull this in and it's going to create this over here. And that's the index that is going to put against the new index that is um, created. Okay, so there we can see that. So now since we've made those changes, um, we save the template. Um, and then we can go out of that. So now, 
we're going to have back to our indices. Now, this one here, you can see it's got no policy. And this was one of the ones, if you remember 13 that I showed, it didn't have a policy. So if we go to here, and we say add policy, and then you go here, and then you see there's our new log stash index policy, then we can add the policy. Right, so now there's got a policy. And this is quite magic in that it, you then know where the next one, oh, this one hasn't got a policy either. So now we go back here, we, sit, we add the policy, and then, so there's a policy. So if we want to go and check to see if that policy has in fact been added, if we go back to here, and if you can remember, this was the one here that didn't have a policy before. So now when you look at it, you can see now it's got a policy index over here against number 12. And that's how long it took to do that. And then this 21 year, we're going to, going to have to go and look for it and change the policy. So let's go and look for the 21. We don't have a 21 there. We don't have a 21 there. Oh, we do have a 21 here, so let's have a look. So you can see, yeah, there's an error. So we take that, we remove the policy. And that's been removed, and then we must add another policy. And there it is. So the, the real test will be tomorrow on the 22nd, to see if it automatically picks up the right log stash um, policy. So yeah, thank you for watching.